Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scavenger. And today we're going against Thomas, others known as the Rizzle Man. And well, he's really tough. <laughs> I can't really stress enough. He's a trickster player, that means that he is not... He's never offensively built, you know, he has some offensive pokes, but never tries to play offensive. Which means that he, you know, have a lot of tricks up his sleeve, and a lot of um, trump card, and uh, basically are great at walling out, so... I am basically just put a team together and want to try things out, so this is actually before I battle Anima, so I was just in a beta testing, and... Uh, Try not vividly on, I think, for the first time ever, so that's kind of weird, I haven't done that before. And other than that, I'm using uh, Quildin, Pangora with Assault Vest, my Torkoal with Stealth Rocks, Flodia, Save Your Light, Mega Galilee, which isn't in you as I thought, and of course, then Vivlion. He is using Camerot, Evil Eye Coughing, Steelix, Evil Eye, what was it called? Sligo and Crown Gnoll and Manaphy. And I definitely I've never gone against a Manaphy before, so I was really um how to put it. Um very curious of what I was gonna do, and I had no idea what it was his obvious lead, to be honest. I did expect a Steelix at best. And um, basically just rolled with that. I was a little scared of him, because like I said, he's a trickster player, which means that he can um, he can be very unpredictable, and uh, there is no reason for me to try to wall him, because I am very sure that he can deal with that much better than I can deal with him. Which means that I'm much better off being offensively, and uh, yeah, that was basically my tactic. Try to be the stronger player, and finish this game as fast as I could. So, with that in mind, of course, let's go. And oh yeah, I start off with Quildin, and um, the reason I do that is because I did expect to see Licks. He is actually going to start off with the Fioni, and um, I can't really do anything here. I did expect an Ice Beam, so I'm going to switch out right off the back to my Astrolog, which is somewhat specially defensive, but really just a wall, uh, the Caracosta. But he will actually have knockoff here, and um, yeah, I don't know really know what that means, other than that he decides to switch out, while I actually decided to pull a double switch here, thinking that I could get a better position if I do that to see what he goes into. I get a very good matchup here, and there is no reason this couple will take a hurricane. And I decided there is no reason for me to, uh, you know, wall myself up with the Quiver Dance or whatnot because he has the Sligo, and uh, I didn't expect that to be Sap Super Sligo because there is really no reason for him not using that with his team uh, synergy. So I decided that that seems to be the case. So when he decided to go for Toxic, I am actually really, really fine with this, and um, I'm basically just gonna throw up spikes. And this is actually a very similar set to uh, Anima set uh, with the Rose Raid or Roselia. Uh, that is, it's just a spike set. It got super fang to deal with a lot of things, so I have a lot of fun using it. Uh, so here's the camera out, and I go for a second layer of spikes. And uh, I was basically here thinking that he must expect me to bring the Caracosta, so I'm much better off staying in, hoping for him to go for an Earth Power. And uh, I'll say it was rather cool here, I really were, you know, this thing can actually decimate my Quilding rather easy, and I knew that, so I'm feeling very risky knowing I'm gonna have speed anyway and get the Super Fang off. He goes for John and miss, and that's actually fine, because I know next turn here there's no reason for him not to decimate me, so now I get the honest chance here to go with my Astrolog or my Caracosta to take the Flamethrower or Fire Blast, you know, no matter what it is. And, uh, you know, for being resisted four times, that is just terrible how much damage that does. So anyway, coughing is here, I decided to go wrong with just hoping for him to actually sack that off. Of course it didn't, but I really was in no position to take or even try to take enough power. So I decided to uh, switch into my building uh, yet again because I knew a will which was common. And since, and since I am toxic, I can might as well utilize my status effect and deal with that. So I go for the synthesis. Just to, you know, wall myself up a bit, and uh, Bulletproof is doing his thing. Um, a lot of players don't, don't think about it, you know, back slash bomb and stuff like that, and uh, it backfires a lot. Quilladin is great because of that, can easily deal with the Ros Roselias and develop them with the NU. But he shows me the flamethrower, and there is no real reason for me to stay in and try to go for another synthesis because the um, Toxic is, you know, pulling through and, you know, doing a lot of damage on me. He's gonna show me infestation here, which means that, ugh, 
that ace log is done for because I know Willow is coming, so I might as well just get off that pesky, pesky. Oh, what's it called? Evil Light. And then after that, actually get off Stealth Box because I know the combination won't really kill me, but um, I know that my ass log is definitely dead and I have not to rest or anything like that because there's really no reason to have that. Or it could be since I am defensive, but I decided not to have that since it's a Stealth Box set after all. And uh, basically, you know, that is Aslog dead, which is... it's fine. But I really like using it, I really do, it helped me a lot here, and you know, got the rocks up, it did some decent damage on a lot of things here. So, anyway, I actually decided to go for Calm Mines, hoping for him to go for Sludge Bomb, but he might actually go for Willow with Brow the Bat. And I was basically face palming here, because... Uh, I could have just killed this thing right off the bat with a Psychic. Uh, it is a sweeper set, so it's not a wish. Aroma, aroma um, therapy set. It's definitely a, it's a sweeping set, wicked rain, and it works really well. It really does. But that floats I had, he's not got an easy time for it. So anyway, I decided to stay in and go for Giga Drain just to scout out the damage. I knew that this thing could have Iron Head or Jarrow Ball, but I thought that he might go for Stealth Rocks first before even doing that. So I had in mind that he. Probably will go for an Iron Head, so I was thinking Quilladin can, you know, work this thing around, you know, really, really dent it if that were the case. And uh, basically, I didn't think that he, he would pack the Gijar Ball. Had I stayed in here, a Gijar Ball would actually not do that much damage, but Quilladin is totally immune to it, so it was a win win, really. But Quilladin is in such a low HP, so I decided to. I could go for Synthesis and, you know, try to be stally, or I could set up a Lead Seed and try to recover back on my HP because I know I can take, you know, one hit whatsoever on this thing. But it has the Dragon Tail. That basically killed my Quilladin because of the Toxic Stealth Rock combination. And uh, basically I am better off using my Sealmeria here. But I was thinking at least that since the situation is somewhat dire, I might as well utilize the situation, get some Lead Seed back and then sack off my Quilladin because I really don't like or rather, I did not know how much a Jar Ball might do, consider the set, of course. So, yeah, with the combination, like I said, there is enough to kill me, and Earthquake, of course, gonna kill me. That would be actually very terrifying if it didn't. <laughs> anyway, with that happening, I'm gonna go back to Silmeria, and uh, basically... No, I went for Flay, sorry. I went for Flay for go for a knockoff, because... Getting the leftovers our way really means that it has no way of recover properly. And he'll go for Dragon Sail, of course, there's no reason not to. Not doing that much damage, so when, the first, when I saw that, I did realize that I can most likely take a Gyro Ball, so I don't need to switch out or anything like that, I can just go for Giga Drain. It's not gonna kill, it really isn't. But after seeing this damage, I definitely realized that my Giga Drain gave back the same amount of HP that this Gyro Ball will do when I had a Call Mine back up. Which meant that I basically sacked my Quilladin for nothing, because this Jarable did just that, nothing. And you know, th that is fine. It's frustrating, yeah, but at the same time, it's stealing, so you kind of have to have a huge respect for that Pokemon, because it can actually obliterate teams with the right positions, of course. And um, basically, at this point, since I didn't have a Call Mine or anything like that, I was actually better off sacking this guy off, because there is no way in hell that this Flojas can do, or Flet can do anything here, and a Flash Cannon with the crit is gonna take it out. The crit might not, or if it wasn't crit, it might not kill me, but I couldn't really do anything against it either, so it just didn't really matter. So, anyway, he's gonna decide here to uh, sack off his camera out, which, you know, from Mega Pokemon, it didn't really get that utilized, and it was because the team premise was just that good, and I worked around it so well, and they definitely decimated the camera really early on with a super fan, of course. And I'm actually yet to use my Lele, it is in my back, you know, I don't have any reason to take it in. And here is the Manaphy, or Fiona. And I don't know why I did this, because really thinking about it, this was a very, very decisive play here. I decided to, you know, take whatever comes my way. And I actually thought I won at this point, so I decided to bring in Laylee before it's too late and uh, just go for that explosion, because for the giggles, to be honest, because I knew I had a game, there's no way in hell that he was gonna do a comeback from this point. And basically, you know, getting that Mega Evolution going, and BOOM! And, um, he's gonna switch out to Sligo, and, um, 
I actually packed Body Slam on my Glalie, so I might as well have done that. But just like I said, I did this for the giggles because I really just wanted that Glalie to explode because that is basically what it does. It boom, it just it decimates anything on the team, and of course, Sligo might not have been like the most um, terrifying Pokemon to deal with. So I know that I can go with my Fletra, I know that I can outspeed if Yoni, I shouldn't really worry about that, and just get the Giga Drain off with the combination of the Hazard, should be definitely be enough. And damn, um, it's scarfed, and it got bounced, and uh, oh shit. So, I won't outspeed, and the bounce will of course kill me, even though I got some shifty accuracy of 85. So, my Vivillion died there, and that is just awesome. So, I bring a flag here, and basically I can't outspeed this thing. So, I'm just gonna accept that the bounce is common, and then retaliate with Brain Punch, which should definitely put me in a range of me, of course, dealing with it. But, not only the bounce hits, I get paralyzed with those 30%, first of all. Second of all, I get fully paralyzed. So I was like, what? What? Really? Really? <laughs> oh my god, that is just awful. And of course this bounce will be enough to decimate me, so I actually lose this battle. And I, <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Hell, I thought I won. And like I said there, had I gone for a body slide with my Glalie, I would be in a much better position. Hell, had I seen and take that knockoff from this man of me, I would have been in a much better position. I basically killed myself just for the shits and giggles, and it, oh my god. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say. Um, I, I definitely had the game in such a good way that I decided to play around it, and you know, that's what Tricks to Play does for you. I didn't see Manaphy having Scarf, neither Bounce for that matter, and of course getting not only Parahaxed and he not missing, I do get fully paralyzed and the rain punch would have put me in a position where I would have not have gained, gained enough HP to actually deal with that um, cryogonal properly anyway but it still is, you know, that is one of those things you're like, oh really? I couldn't pull that through, alright and like I said, had I stayed in with Pangoro and taken that knockoff and not switch out to Glalie, I would actually have won too because there was no way in hell that he would pull through after that combination of a Drain Punch. And I think I just... I really destroyed myself. And um, I just wanted to showcase the Glalie with Explosion. And I think I got so obsessed with that thought that I decided to switch out because I knew it wouldn't get showcased other else. And uh, sadly, it actually killed me to do that. And... Uh, you know, that is my own mistake, and I guess that would make it somewhat funny. I actually laughed at the bounce because I didn't see it coming, and uh, the two pokes I had left besides Glalie, you know, couldn't cope with that, which made it kind of funny that Manaphy or Fioni, one of the, um, you know, I guess not one of the worst Pokemon in NU, but definitely, you know, underappreciated, actually pulls through from out of nowhere, to be honest. And I didn't expect it to be Scarf, I really didn't, and that was just wow. Um, so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle, I really do. Um, I won't upload any more battles to for this year. So basically not tomorrow. But I will send you guys, you know, a little <laughs> a little shout out before going away to eat dinner and stuff like that. So uh, if you're on YouTube tomorrow, make sure to check me out. And other than that, I do hope to actually stream this Saturday. I'm uh, gonna keep you guys posted on that. But if that's the case, then Saturday the 4th. Fourth, yes, that's that's the right word. I'm going to stream for you guys, and uh, hopefully have some good content. Um, so with that in mind, guys, no, thank you as of course always for watching, and don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, right, guys, and take care. All right, bye.